In this video, we're going to learn to calculate two types of probability, combined probability and conditional probability. So combined is when there's one event or another event. So a common question might be calculate probability of getting a head or a tail, whereas conditional is one event and or then another event. A common question for this might be calculate the probability of getting a head given you've already got a tail. So if we look at this in a visual way, we can use Venn diagrams. So this shows the probability of A occurring, which we can see down the bottom is all of the numbers in the green A circle, so 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, which equals 0 0.3. Now if we look at the probability of B occurring, we can see it's the same deal. We add 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 to give us a probability of 0 0.5. Now if we look at the intersection between A and B, so the probability of both A and B occurring, we just look at the Venn diagram down the bottom and we see this is 0 0.1. Now if we look at the probability of A or B occurring, we add all of the numbers that have been shaded in the green circles. So this is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 equals 0 0.7. You might have been wondering what those little symbols are. The one that looks like an N is an intersection and we use it when a question wants us to find the probability of something and something else. So here it wanted A and B. If you look at the shape, you can see that the symbol looks like an N, and obviously AND has an N in it, so that's how I remember that intersections are for AND probabilities. Then the union looks like a U. I think of it as if you were to fill the U with the top part, it looks like an O. So this is for all probabilities, when the question wants you to find the probability of A or B occurring. Now if we look at conditional probability, we know this is the probability of an event given another event has already happened. So what is the probability of getting ahead, given you've already got a tail? So if we draw up a probability tree, we can think of all the possible outcomes and use this to calculate our final probability. So we'd have a head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head. So these are our options here. And if we add the probabilities of getting these together, like we have in this equation here, we'll find our final probability. So we know that you're just as likely to get a head as you are a tail when you flip a coin. So therefore each branch is 0 0.5. And because we're going through three steps, or three coin flips, we know we must times 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, because that's our three step outcome. So you can see here, a tail tail head has a probability of 0 0.125, which is the same as a tail head tail, a tail head head, and a head tail head. So if we add all of these probabilities together, we can say the probability of getting ahead given you've already got a tail is 0 0.5. Now if we look at another example, given the ice cream was strawberry, find the probability it had sprinkles. So if this is our table here, we're looking at strawberry and the total and sprinkles within the strawberry category. So we can say the probability of sprinkles given it was strawberry is 4 divided by 8, which is 0 0.5. Given the topping is chocolate chips, find the probability it was vanilla flavour. So if we look at the chocolate chips category and the total, and how many of those are vanilla, we can divide 6 by 15, which gives us 0 0.4. Now if we look at combined probability, we know this is an event consisting of more than one event. So an example is, what is the probability of getting a green or a red? So if this is our bag of marbles, the probability of getting a red is going to be 2 out of 10, as there's 2 red marbles out of the bag of 10 marbles. The probability of getting a green is going to be 3 out of 10, because there's 3 green marbles out of the bag of 10. If we were to pull a red or a green, the probability would be 0 0.5, as you're adding these together because you've got a union. If we do another example, what is the probability of a chocolate ice cream having sprinkles, or strawberry ice cream having sprinkles? So if we look at our table again, and we look at the number of chocolate ice creams and which of those had sprinkles, as well as the strawberry ice creams that also had sprinkles, compared to the total number of ice creams, we can divide 2 by 33, which is the chocolate sprinkles, and 4 by 33, which is the strawberry sprinkles, which has our combined probability of 0 0.181. So from this video, what you need to know is that combined probability is when you add probabilities of independent events together. And conditional probability is when you use unions and intersections to multiply probabilities, then add them together. 